Hello again friends and welcome back to the channel. I know that this is my third video on Marin Software or MRIN this week, but it has been an insane week with the price of the stock climbing over a thousand percent in the last seven trading days. And in this video, I want to go through why I think the stock may still have further to run as well as having a quick look at some of the charts for the stock from yesterday. Uh, but before I get into the video, can I ask that you leave a like on the video and um, subscribe to the channel if you find this content interesting or useful, as is the best way that you can show your support for a small YouTube creator such as myself. I really appreciate the support you guys have shown me so far. Uh, without other way, let's get into it. So again, on Friday, I dedicate much of my focus to day trading this stock. And as you can see um, by the high volume of trade along the bottom of this two minute chart, uh, it was extremely active again that day. So here's that that, vol that our volume is showing there. I'll just hide my little screen. And you can see that it was upwards. It was in some uh, minutes alone, it was trading over a million shares in a minute alone. And I'm going to show you the significance of, of this very shortly. The other thing that is worth pointing out on this two minute chart is I don't think the scale of the movement through the day in the candlestick chart is uh, truly reflective um, here because the, of the wide price range through the day. So if, if you have a look, some of these minutes here, each minute, like it doesn't look like it's moving a lot, but this price is moving like uh, 20, 30, 40 cents per, per minute in range. It's quite big swings through the day. It's just because the price movement, um, you know, jumped from $16 to a high of $25, it's flattened out by the overall height of um, the trade. In terms of my trading, I um, I was holding a position coming into the the session around the $16 mark, and I was able to fire it off at $24 really early um, in the session because, it, like it's been doing every day, bar Wednesday last week, it really jumped out of the blocks. And so this is actually where I made the majority of my money trading was on that first trade there. I did manage to pop off another. Um, trade around, oh, it's covered by the chart here, but around here, and another uh, big movement of about 50 cents in the, the trade. I then had like a negative trade, uh, unfortunately, which started around around about this point here, and I never quite got back to that, that mark there, so I did manage to sell it off at a tapered loss, okay? Uh, however, then throughout the day, I went on to trade, buy and sell the stock about 10 more times um, needing much smaller profits, just like playing strategically, getting small amounts um, out of the stock, like over here. Um, I, I'm just like taking little guesses around where it roughly is, but it was pretty consistent. I didn't have a little sleep through the night like I often do. Now, as you can see, there was a bit of a jump in the last sort of hour here, and I did take up a position at the $22 mark, indicated by that little white circle there, um, and it never did quite cover. So I'm still holding that position coming into the opening of trade on Tuesday. And like I was holding that position um, here on Thursday's trade coming into Friday, I'm pretty confident of getting a some sort of jump out of the market on Tuesday when the stock reopens. Whether or not it goes beyond the $25 mark, um, I'm, we'll wait to see. But you know, every day it's been quite surprising. It's kind of bounded up about four or five dollars to a new new high for the stock. It's because this this mark here, the 20, I think it was 25.60 was the peak. Would say there, uh, yeah, 25.60. That's the highest the stock has come to so far. So this daily trade, sorry, this so this sum, uh, so this daily summary of trade table demonstrates literally how much volume of trade has been occurring since the Instacart announcement. I'll just hide my screen to to show you, but um, before the announcement, the stock was only trading, that was probably just before, and this was the average sort of here. So it was only actually trading around 370,000 um, shares a day. And then since the announcement, we sort of have seen this huge uptick in sales. So it's gone from half a million or three, 300,000 to half a million, to 1.5 million, 15 million, 196 million, dropped down to 72 million, 300 million, 354 million, this was the peak. Uh, this was the day it did fall a little bit, 56 million traded. Um, and then it's sort of tapered down to 160 and 121 million shares exchanged on uh, Friday. Now that 121 million, while it's still quite a high figure, there might look like there is some sort of decline 
and that there's not what uh, that momentum is sort of drying up on the stock however i would suggest that this um, actually has a lot to do with the much higher price on the securities so i mean if i was buying the stock at two dollars and i had 10k to invest i could buy 5,000 shares and that's down at around this point here however if the stock is coming up here around that 20 dollars mark i could only buy about you know uh, 500 shares so the the quantity that is being exchanged at a time would have dropped off quite a bit. Um, also, I think that as the short interest has gained more attention, increasingly people are holding onto their shares for a potential short squeeze, which I think we are actually seeing play out right now. Um, it's I know there's a few factors at play here. It is a small float um, and small market cap, so it is very easy to move the price up and down if there's a, enough interest in it. But I think um, we are getting an increasing number of purchases buying and holding because this is being a small company, it is a lot easier to put a short squeeze on. And I'm going to show you some other factors which are potentially contributing to that squeeze right now. In terms of how much of the float um, is currently shorted, there are widely different estimates that put it as low as only 2% and some um, as uh, high as, wildly high I should say, as about 180%. This could be due to the large interest in the share lately, meaning a lot more share sales are coming into the trading mix and distorting an accurate figure. A ballpark figure I've come across more regularly um, in looking into it is around the 30% mark. Keep in mind that anything over 10% is considered to be a highly shorted stock. And if you look at this chart here, while it's um, this is a historical chart and sort of showing some, some wide swings in the short interest, uh, there's probably like a bit of a, a pattern around this mark here okay and you know this is and this is in recent times so in recent times it has generally fluctuated in this sort of band and so it is probably a reasonably highly short stock normally and i think um the interest has probably picked up in it just because in recent days because it has had such an astronomical rise so what is interesting about this stock now is that the short borrow fee at the end of friday for marriage software is at a whopping 220 cent um, per annum. Um, again, that figure uh, gets adjusted by a whole range of market factors. Um, however, current circumstances would, for Marin Software, uh, be driving much of that fee rate up. Uh, so to give you some perspective, average home loans in Australia currently are only at 2.5% per annum. Marin Software's mammoth borrow fee makes it currently um, in the top 10 most expensive stocks to hold an outstanding short position in. And when you think about it, it is a long weekend in America um, due to the 4th of July. Oh, by the way, happy 4th of July to all my American friends out there. Anyway, the long weekend means people are holding the short position at the end of yesterday are going to be copying this mammoth interest rate for an additional day this weekend, which I think is going to cause many of them to try and exit uh, their positions early on Tuesday when US trading resumes, especially if there's looking like being another jump in price, which I think there very may well be. Um, so why do I think we are going to see uh, more upward price movement? So if you look at the hourly chart for the last week, and just keep in mind that I'm trading from Australia, so the dates are a little bit forward. So my Wednesday is actually your Tuesday. So if you look at this hourly chart for the last week, uh, with the exception of Wednesday, the stock has seen huge jumps out of the block. I think this is being driven by the interest around shorts, both short sellers trying to exit their increasingly untenable positions as soon as possible, and the increasing attention from retail traders who are looking to push the short squeeze, or to squeeze it, I, I suppose you, you would say. I think it's going to get bigger because of the small share float and the high proportion of the company already being held by retail investors. Um, the other day we looked into it and I think that interest is about 75% of the float is held by retail investors or non-institutional investors. Also, the interest in this stock I think is going to grow further as I still think it is very much under the radar for a lot of other investors out there uh, who may catch wind of the 30 to 100% gains the stock has been making on a daily basis over the last six, seven days. And just to further show why I think more upward movement is coming this week, um, most days uh, there has been a bit of a drop off towards the end of the day um, as people uh, look to take profit from the huge gains they uh, may have had during the day, as well as many day traders um, like 
to exit positions so their cash is available for them freely. And this is generally um, continued in the after hour trade window um, for MRA and this weekend has been the case. So we kind of have typically seen this kind of drop off towards the end of trade. However, on Friday, there was an upward trend in the aftermarket phase. This has gone up. So we've gone from 2029 to closing at 2116 in the aftermarket trade. That increase is approximately a 5% rise on the closing price, which suggests that many are also betting on a similar jump at the opening of trade next week. Um, of course, this is just a theory. We'll have to wait and see how it plays out. But what I've observed this week is the aftermarket trade has typically had a a sort of continued downward movement that, that has been seen in the last sort of half hour of the um, normal trading day. Now, I do want to stress that despite my bullish sentiments on the stock, it is still a very risky investment to get into. And what I have presented here are my thoughts on the stock and do not constitute any financial advice. You should do further research and form your own perspectives. If you do come across any interesting perspective, please share them in the comments below. I'm always looking to see uh, what other people think about the stocks. Um, you know, even if it's not this on other stocks that you think may be uh, worth talking about are always something I'm looking out for. I just I like to focus on the stocks that I actually am actively investing in. So that's why I've been hitting Marin Software up a bit this week. It has probably dominated my, my share trading focus. Um, I've exchanged probably about 15 other securities through the week, traded them in some form. Uh, but this one has really been the dominant one, more so than my uh, other recent one that I've been focused on a lot in America being Workhorse, which I'm probably going to do a fault video on Workhorse just because it's had some interesting developments in it as well. Anyway, uh, that is all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like on the video if you have not done so already, and uh, perhaps consider subscribing to the channel as this is uh, the best way you can help out a small content producer like myself. I know I've said it twice. Uh, to all my friends in the USA, happy 4th of July, and to everyone out there, have a great day, and I'll see you all soon. Take care. Bye.